Hello again from Tokyo, Japan, and welcome back to Japan Vintage Camera, where today I'm going to be doing an instructional video showing you how to replace the light seals in your classic camera. So classic is a polite word for old, and uh, old cameras usually have old light seals, and light seals are perishable. So if you've got a camera which is more than 20 years old, uh, more than likely the light seals should be replaced in it. Uh, bad light seals can cause a lot of problems. The most obvious one is they allow light to get into the film chamber and expose your film and ruining your uh, photos. And uh, second, uh, the debris from rotting light seals can drift around inside the camera and contaminate the different parts. It can cause the shutter to stick and mechanisms and other parts to uh, run slowly or not at all. So it's important that the light seals be uh, regularly maintained uh, in a camera. Uh, luckily, uh, replacing the light seals is a very easy job. Uh, it doesn't require any uh, me mechanical aptitude or skill, and it's not expensive. Uh, you're li you likely have most of the things you need around your home to do the, the job. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what we do need to replace the light seals. And first I'm going to start with the tools. Uh, first tool which I find handy is a toothbrush. A pair of cutters or a small pair of scissors. A small uh, slotted screwdriver or minus screwdriver as they call it here in Japan. And a screwdriver with a wider tip uh, which I use as a scraper. Uh, these cost about 90 cents each. Uh, at least they do in Japan so they're not expensive. And we need some cotton swabs. Uh, these are used ones. I use these for cleaning lenses and then I, I save them in order to use them to clean the light seals. Just uh, being economical. And uh, let's see, another thing we need is we need a uh, solvent. And the solvent I use is just uh, ordinary lacquer thinner. You can get a small bottle of it from a hobby shop, the kind they use for model airplanes. That's more than enough the, you know, to do the job on a, you know, a light seal job on a camera. And uh, the last thing you need is a light seal kit. And light seal kits, this is a very uh, simple kit because this is a very simple camera. This is a, a Minolta Hi-Matic which requires only three light seals. Uh, the kind of light seals your camera will require depends on the camera. Uh, some use very few, like this one here, and most cameras will only require you know, this small number of seals. Uh, some cameras, like the Canonet QL17, requires large door seals for the door and then a small uh, seal for the body. Other cameras require uh, seals for uh, let's see uh, the film cartridge to prevent it from rattling around, or uh, a, a seal on the opposite side of the door to prevent it from rattling. And SLR cameras uh, sometimes require mirror box seals and a mirror box bumper uh, where the mirror you know, bumps against to prevent it from uh, uh, making hitting the metal inside the box. Uh, the best place to get the light seal kit is, uh, I'll, I'll recommend myself here, I'm going to be selling uh, light seal kits at my Etsy and eBay stores. So uh, if you need a light seal kit, uh, please uh, check what I have in my stores. I have links to my stores in the description below the video. So we're going to go ahead and get started on replacing the light seals in uh, our patient here, which is a Minolta Hi-Matic 9 rangefinder camera from the uh, early mid 1960s. Uh, this one's seen a lot of use and abuse. Um, let's take a look and see what it looks like. Uh, the light seals are mostly rotted away. There's some light seal material left and a bunch of glue uh, in the bottom. And you can see the really disgusting stuff left there in the hinge. The, uh, the dirt and the stuff, you know, these, the material from the light seals here went somewhere. So it's probably inside the camera. But uh, this camera is going to be uh, serviced anyway. So I'm going to take it apart and clean all the crud out of it and uh, all the dust and stuff as well. So uh, let's see. Uh, one tool which I didn't show uh, as I was setting up was uh, probably the most simple tool. And that is a cardboard box. So replacing the light seals is a kind of a messy or dirty job. So uh, using a box like this allows you to do the job without making a mess on your table or your workspace. There's a lot of dust on the inside here, so what I'm going to do first is remove the dust. 
I try to hold the camera in a way that gravity will help pull anything that I'm cleaning out into the box and not around the lens or inside the winding mechanism. So I hold the camera like so and I carefully brush out the excess dust with a toothbrush. I'll turn it this way and clean the excess dust out that way. And I'll hold it this way to get it off of the hinge and also to brush around the edges of the film door to get the dust out from there. Okay. And that's it for removing the dust. Uh, the next step is to get rid of the old light seal material and glue which is inside the channels and on the hinge. So uh, you might be tempted just to get a screwdriver and just start scraping it out and uh, that method does work but it takes a little bit of time and it does make get dust and stuff inside the camera when you are you know scraping and also metal filings too so you have to be careful with that what i recommend doing is using a solvent uh, like i uh, showed earlier uh, i prefer lacquer thinner because it's uh it's cheap and easy to find it's only a dollar for a small bottle of it on amazon and you can find it in hardware stores and sometimes your grocery or convenience stores what I do is I, I don't remove any of the old light seal material. I leave it in there because uh, when I put the solvent on it, the existing light seal material will uh, hold the solvent and allow it to uh, sit and dissolve without evaporating quickly. So you want the solvent to be able to uh, eat into all of the old light seal material and dissolve all the glue underneath. Uh, if you scrape out everything first and then put in the... Uh, a solvent, uh, the solvent will might run around and get inside the camera or it will dry too quickly to, to, before it dissolves the glue. So I apply enough solvent to make the light seals glisten. I don't want them dripping wet and I don't want them just moist. I, I, I put the solvent on there till they get shiny so it looks like they're they're completely saturated. And of course I'll add some over here to uh, the hinge and a little bit to the uh, body of the camera because this door was closed for a couple of decades or three decades and a lot of the light seal material transferred from here to here. And what I do next is um, uh, when you're doing this kind of work make sure to work in a well ventilated area because you know, at best uh, solvent fumes are are uh, I don't know, unpleasant and at worst they're dangerous. So. Um, uh, you work in an open area. For myself, I have a small fan here, which I turn on and it blows the fumes away so I don't have to smell them because I really hate the smell of uh, lacquer thinner or solvent. So uh, once uh, the solvent is working, I let it soak in for a few minutes and uh, to do a good job. Uh, Depending on some cameras, I have to let it sit for a long time. On other cameras, I don't. On Minolta's, it doesn't require a lot of time. Uh, Minolta has made life easy for like camera repair people because the glue that they use to hold in the light seals is very easy to dissolve, and the light seals are easier to replace than some other cameras. The rangefinder cameras and SLR cameras, like the old SRTs and whatever, they're really quite easy to do this job. So. Uh, Nikon cameras okay, Canon cameras are more difficult, the Ashika cameras are quite difficult, uh, Ricoh cameras, the newer ones, uh, like 500s which have the big sheets of foam, those are like a nightmare to do. Uh, fortunately I, I get very few of those to have to work on. But anyway, I think it's ready now to uh, clean out the old light seal material and I don't want this video to be too long so I'll go ahead and scrape it out. I'll take my cleaning box again and like I did before I'm going to hold this in the way so that as I scrape the old light seal material out it won't fall on the lens or inside the camera. As I said this is a Minolta and the solvent seems to have done a really good job. It's cleaning out quite well. Uh, the corner of the box is a good place to scrape the extra crud off of the screwdriver. It's important to pay extra attention around the corners. These are the harder parts to clean and it's also the part where you want the most clean because if the corners aren't clean sometimes the film door will catch on your new light seals and pull them out. So you want, you want that to be nice and clean so the light seals stick to it really well. 
I'm gonna right to end and then scrape this. I use the wide screwdriver to scrape off the hinge. That's about, that's usually the only time I really use it in the in this repair. All right, then I bring up my toothbrush again to brush away the excess debris which I, I scraped out. I'll go ahead and set aside my uh, cardboard box. And now we're going to put to use a couple of the other tools. Um, needle nose pliers and a cotton swab. So what I do is I flatten the tip of the cotton swab with uh, needle nose pliers. And then I apply uh, some solvent. If you don't want to, if you don't have a syringe, you can just use the flatten the tip of your uh, cotton swabs, dip it in your solvent, and just apply it to the old light, rotten light seals like this, and do it until they're saturated. And that way, you don't have to invest in a syringe to do the job. But this uh, tip is uh, saturated in the solvent so run it up and down not so much there that's just glue Minolta used a red colored glue so you can see the kind of uh, red pink color on the end of the cotton swab and as I want this to work really well uh, I run the cotton swab on each channel a couple of times to uh, make sure that it's really clean now, if you do the job right, you only have to do it once. If you do the job wrong, you have to do it at least twice. I know that from hard experience. Oop. All right. All right, nice and clean and shiny. All right, then we do the upper one. Right, and once again being extra careful around the corners. That one's very clean, so okay. And then and there's one last part. to do uh, right here okay that's not so bad some cameras will get a lot of gunk out of here just do it until you get um, as much of the gunk out as you can because you really want a clean surface for the new uh, light seals to stick to all right and then the last part is, this would be one of the dirtiest spots. Not only white seal material, but dirt seems to always accumulate around hinges. There's a lubrication and, and such. Alright, let me use one more. Because I want that to be really clean. Alright, so uh, now all of the light, uh, the light seal channels are clean and we're ready to install the new light seals. Uh, you want to wait for the uh, light seal or the solvent to dry out because if it's still wet and you put in the new light seals, the solvent dissolves new light seals just as quickly as it dissolves the old ones and you don't want that to happen. I can speed up the process with some compressed air. That looks good. Okay, so uh, the trickiest part of doing this is getting the light seals to sit flat in the channel with the adhesive side sticking to the bottom of the channel and not to the sides. Uh, when I first did this when I was just playing with a camera I bought at a swap meet I, I really screwed it up and I, I learned 
after a few times how to do a, a better job. There's a very simple trick to making the light seals uh, easy to install and that is when you peel the paper off the adhesive, uh, lick the adhesive and make it wet with uh, saliva. Uh, this allows you to move the light seal around and uh, without it sticking before you're ready to have it stick. And the good thing about saliva, it's cheap, it's abundant, it's uh, biodegradable, I guess, renewable. Apply a little bit more with my finger along the bottom of the channel and then just push down. The good thing about using this method is if you make a mistake and the light seal goes down sideways, you can just pull it back up and start over again. If you put in the light seal dry, uh, it's pretty much, you know, you tear it apart trying to get it back out. So this is the, the best technique to doing a clean light seal job. Right. Okay, and the bottom light seal is in place. Uh, I'll close the door to press the light seal down into the channel and then pop it back open. Voila, it looks really good. A good thing about um, the Minolta cameras is they only need a seal at about three quarters of the di di distance on the bottom. So uh, you can usually use uh, one, one strip to do most of the upper and lower parts. When you're putting the light seal in the top here, most cameras will have a, a little lever or switch, which is to reset the film counter lever. Uh, you don't want the light seals to go uh, over this because it can cause the film uh, counter to jam. So get that a little bit wet again and push it down right here. You can have a couple of millimeters of space on either side. All right, and then uh, apply a little more. Make it a little bit more wet. Make sure to keep the flat into the screwdriver so it pushes the seal flat down against the bottom of the channel. Where you must be especially careful with when installing the light seals is the very end here. Uh, this must be done in, uh, carefully so the light seal does press against the bottom. If you don't do it this way and the light seal comes in a little bit sideways and the adhesive isn't straight down, it can catch on the film door. And it's really annoying to uh, do the job and uh, close the film door and open it and the film door pulls the light seal out of the channel. Go ahead and close it again. And Okay, that's right. The door didn't pull it out of the channel, so it's installed correctly. Alright, and then uh, the last part on this Minolta will be replacing the uh, hinge seal. So, okay, that's the right size. Okay, and I use the screwdriver to help install the light seal. And I set it on the center. These, um, these cameras overhangs just a little bit because I want them to go and fill in edge to edge on the hinge so no light gets in. All right, and that's it. The job is done. Uh, let's see, uh, we're here at about 18 minutes and 50 some seconds, and I spent about three minutes talking, so about 15 minutes to do the entire job, and that's all there is to it. Uh, light seals on this camera are done. Uh, some cameras will take a little more time, uh, but a few will take less time than uh, this one. Alrighty. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it and I hope it was helpful. If you need light seals, once again, uh, check out uh, my Etsy and eBay stores. I have the links to my stores in the description under the video. Uh, if you like the video, please click like. If you want to see more videos, uh, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing uh, more camera reviews and uh, instruction guides, as well as a few more videos on maintenance and repairs and things like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you tune again soon.